So for this problem then we have determined the components of reaction at the supports A and B on the rod. So of course this one is a little bit different as you see we have this kind of T-shaped bar so this is one whole piece and on support A basically we have lots of rollers holding it in place. At B we have a roller as well. We have the necessary dimensions in this case is nothing but variables. We have the force P downward right in the middle of that beam. We have the dimensions L over 2. Um, to get the respective um, location of this force. So let's go ahead and draw the free body diagram. So just looking at the beam here, of course, we have the force P. Now for the reactionary force at B, we know it's a roller, so it's just going to be uh, a force in the Y direction. Let's call it BY. Now for point A, you, I guess you can see it, you can say it's a little bit tricky, right? We have multiple rollers, so for each roller we have a reactionary force. But in this case, as we learn in a, when it comes to resultant forces, you could actually just simplify this. And since it's you could say it's normally distributed, right? The force will be equal am among all the rollers here. You could just simplify it by just doing one reactionary force of course along the x direction since it's a roller we're dealing with a force perpendicular to the surface here so this is your free body diagram now we are asked to find the the reactionary forces a and b so as previous examples in other videos thus we have to do the static equilibrium equations right so for static equilibrium, the summation of forces along the x direction is equal to zero, as well as the y direction, as well as all moments um, along the respective points also equal to zero. So for the x direction, this is by is along the y, p is also along the y axis. For, so a x, since there are no other components in the x direction, we don't add a x is equal to zero. So there is no um, reactionary force at point A along the X direction itself. So we only have um, B, the reactionary. So in this case, we could do the sum of forces along the Y direction equal to zero. So we have, let's go ahead and say <clears throat> upward is positive. So we have B, Y minus p is equal to zero and of course we could see that the reactionary force by is equal to the force p here now one thing to keep in mind is um, when we do let's go ahead and do the sum of moments with respect to point a the sum of moments must be equal to zero counterclockwise let's say is positive in this case and so we have um we're going to have the P force having a moment, making it go clockwise, right, with respect to A. So that's going to be a negative moment, P times the distance at perpendicular, PL divided by 2. Then we have BY actually causing a, a moment that's counterclockwise, so that's going to be positive, plus um, BY, which essentially is P times the distance that's perpendicular, which is L. <clears throat> and right here we see that just these two moments with respect to point A alone will not cancel out. And so that means it will not be equal to zero. But that doesn't make sense, right? Because we're talking about static equilibrium. The sum of forces and sum of moments must be equal must cancel out they must be equal to zero so in this case this actual this support here actually has its own reactionary moment let's call it m of a so this is this one was a little bit tricky since it does have rollers but when it comes to fixed supports there is a reactionary force as well as a reactionary moment in this case mma so let's just assume that's positive plus m a equal to zero and then just solve for your mo reactionary moment at point a so the reactionary moment at point a is equal to negative pl over two and the sign convention negative essentially just means that it's actually in the opposite direction of what we assume so in this case it's going to be um, clockwise moment 
And this is how you do your, this is how you solve these problems. So this is how you draw your free body diagrams. And of course, just remember to memorize the reactionary force depending on what support is utilized. And this is basically the foundation um, when it comes to analyzing structures or any systems. So this is something to definitely um, solidify your concept on to practice a lot to get a lot better at it.